What's up guys? How's everybody doing? We are gonna go to Rockport and scope out that little town and see what it has to offer. Go see if we can't find Fulton Mansion and an oak tree, giant oak tree. Let's do it. How you doing, man? Hey, where can I find the, uh, I'm looking for that big ass oak tree somewhere around here? A big oak tree? I appreciate you. Damn. That's a pretty nice house. How's it going, man? Uh, how do you get to that big oak tree? Goose Island. All right, you're awesome. Thank you. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga. So we're in Fulton County. We're taking the path that that guy showed us, and hopefully we don't get lost. Uh, you know, fucking. All this is new to me. I've never seen any of this. Never been here. Oh boy, was it lying. This is a pretty good little cruise. So, on our way over here to this oak tree, I don't think we're going to be able to make it to Fulton Mansion because that's back in Rockport and I'm going to take the highway back. But, um, man, today I wanted to talk about dreams. Specifically because last night I had a crazy ass apocalypse dream. I had a dream where the world was ending, everything was going havoc, except for the town I was in. We were all making it happen. We we're, we're going out and finding all the booze we could find. And I'm talking like hundreds and hundreds of people. Nobody knows each other, but everybody's just fucking having a good time. Uh, not a care in the world. But it was weird as fuck. There was like, there was a dinosaur trying to eat everybody, including me. I was on a motorcycle. It wasn't this one. It was like a little bitty fucking motorcycle, but he tried to get me, and it felt like I was in a fucking video game. He, he, he tries to bite me, I get off my bike, and I looked at a door, and I was thinking, shit, I can't get in that door, because on most video games, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto, or, you know, games like that, all the doors are shut, you can't fucking get into them. So, here I am, fucking, I'm trying to get through a door, and nothing's happening, and right next door, I was able to get in. Well, I get in, and it's like a old military base. It looked like from it looked like a house from the outside, but once I got in, it was like a military base, and nobody recognized that I wasn't authorized personnel. So I go in, and it's weird as fuck. All these guys are sitting around in a base. All these guys are sitting around in this fucking base or whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, sitting around on computers and shit, like nothing's happening. When on the other side, there's fucking dinosaurs and people are going crazy and shit. So I come out afterwards and it's daylight. It was it was nighttime whenever that happened. I come back and remember the, the reason I remember all this shit is because I fucking I woke up, went to sleep, woke up, went to sleep. And supposedly, when you move a muscle, it like kind of clears your memory, like it it deletes that from your memory the more you, you move. So if you just sit there and you think on it and you think on it, you think about what your dream was, like you're more likely to remember it. You know, cause I don't know about you guys, but I'll remember a whole fucking dream and then a, a couple hours later after you get up, you don't remember shit about it. Anyways, back to the store. So after I get out, it's daylight. There's no dinosaurs, and everybody's just like having a fucking blast. Like, and we weren't even on the beach, but people had their shirt off, and they were in like beach shorts. Fucking everybody was drinking, having a good time. And then all of a sudden, we all start digging like a big ass ditch with our hands, and we find like a dead body. Uh, we were accusing somebody of doing it, but he just didn't give a shit, although everybody knew he did it. 
I don't know. It was weird as fuck. I mean, I, I've definitely had some weirder dreams, but that was fucking wild. That was crazy. And, and there's more to it, but I just I can't fucking remember it. Since I know I have some of the wildest fucking oddball dreams, like throwing CDs into people's heads and shit, like I want y'all to put something in the comment section. Like, tell me about your fucking wild ass dreams, or hell, make a video response. Yeah, we're right where we need to be, Goose Island State Park. Oh shit! Look, look, there's fucking deer. What are the odds of that? That is so fucking awesome. I want to walk towards him, but I don't want to scare him away. Should I try to walk towards him? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Maybe if I just kind of walk slow in a non-threatening manner. Now nah, they're still going to run. I can see it. Here they go. All right. That's enough scaring the deer. We're going the right way. That's good. It's always good. Let's go take a look at this tree before nightfall. Welcome to Goose Island State Park, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. So this tree we're looking for is supposedly the second largest oak wood tree in Texas. Uh, and I think the other ones are in Texas as well, like the first one and the third one or something. This one can't grow very high because of the gulf winds, but the thickness, it, it, it makes up for it, you know, it's so huge that it ranks pretty high on the Richter scale. That's a badass cruise, man. I'm so happy to be down here. I hope I'm in the right spot. There we go, big tree to the left. All right. Dead end. Oh, there we go, big tree right in front of me. I'm like, what the fuck? How are they gonna lead me out here? There's nothing. I'm definitely getting a picture of this. Matter of fact, before it gets too dark, I'm gonna get a picture of that shit right now. All right, enough photography. Oh fuck, there it is. Oh, it'd probably help if I turn that shit off. Fuck. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That sucker's pretty huge. So. Without looking at that, or that, or whatever, I think that, uh, I did some research online, and supposedly this thing has been through so much shit, it, it's been through numerous hurricanes, um, it's been through, like, there was a war, like, some kind of, there was a, man, maybe it says it over here, fuck. Lamar was being burned by Union troops during the Civil War battle. This motherfucker's been through that, it's been through hurricanes, um, the motherfucker... As a goddamn trooper. Welcome to my home. I am a live oak tree and I am very old. I have seen spring return more than a thousand times. I can remember hundreds of hurricanes. Most I'd rather forget, but I withstood. There was a big fire once. I hate fire. Some years ago, someone came and patched my cracks, trimmed my dead branches, killed my pests, and healed my fungus rots. You nasty motherfucker. Was that you? I'm feeling much better. Thank you. I am tired now. You may leave me in peace when you are ready to go. Please leave my home as you found it. I have important things to do. The seasons are changing again. And I must get ready. Alrighty then. So the tree just spoke to us. That's fucking cool. This is all, all I'm going to be able to really do today. As you can see, the sun's down. But ain't this fucking beautiful? Back in Midland, we didn't have trees like this or like that. <laughs> but this view is so much better. The only thing is, is in my personal life, my personal living situation right now, it's kind of, eh, it's kind of fucked, kind of sideways. But you know what? Your reaction to a given situation is very important. I try to stay positive and happy instead of down and being a little bitch about it because if you're a bitch about it well guess what life's gonna suck but if you're happy life's gonna be awesome so anyways if you guys like this video hit that like button comment and if you haven't subscribed i don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life god damn it hit that subscribe button but um yeah until next time we will see you fuckers later i appreciate you guys later wait was i said was i supposed to say peace yeah peace there we go